What's going on, everybody? I'm the Goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. Today, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I mean when I say file extension types. I try to explain it in another video, but I'm going to do this video as a secondary video to follow up for those who still may not understand. So, uh, in a recent video, I was explaining that you need the exe file, which is an executable file. The exe stands for executable file or it's also known as an application file or app, whatever you want to call it. So here in my 2K23 directory, and directory just means the folder that NBA 2K23 is in, I have this, this little icon that says NBA 2K23. If you notice under type, it says application. Now, uh, you might have to make the videos full screen. Maybe I'll zoom in, I'll zoom in. Um, it says application, but that is the exe file. Now, there's a way you can see when you right click and go to properties, you'll see that it says type of file application.exe. Now, if you wanted to see the file extension, the .exe is the file extension. If you want to see that in default on Windows, I think it does not show you file extensions, but I'll show you real quick what you can do in your folder. You can go up to view and then come over to file name extensions and then it'll put the extensions for every file so you'll know what type of file they are so when you save images to your computer like dot jpg or dot gif or um even like dot psd those are the file extensions so as you can see now it says dot exe the only reason i'm making this video is because i had someone who um didn't think they had the exe file already for their game but if you bought the game you definitely have the exe file already i always back up my exe files every time there's a patch so like as soon as a patch comes out what i mean by backup is uh when a patch comes out i'll copy this exe file to a folder and i'll show you i have a 2k resources folder that i keep i have so many resources uh since 2k 14 but anyway i'll show you where i keep it so i have I have folder i, I haven't kept all the exe files because this year the game has been pretty good but here's my season 5 exe file right here i made a copy so if i wanted to i could paste it in here but actually I'm gonna make a new folder because this one is, I believe the one I have now is season six, which is crashing a lot. So I'm gonna say season six crashes with mods. I'll put that in there, then I'll paste it. So I made a copy. So I have a copy of it if I ever wanna come back to that version of the game. Now, let me go back to my 2K23 folder. I'm gonna see, yeah. So that, that one is a season six, it'll crash with mods. So I wanna replace this. So I go back to my folder, I'm gonna grab my season five EXE file. I copy it and let's see versions. Oh no, I'm in, I, cop, I copied my season five and then I go back to my 2K23 folder and I can just paste paste in the file it says do you want to replace it i'm going to say replace because i want my game to work and not crash so i went back to a version that works so that's how it is now if you go back to older versions of the exe file when you go to the park or online in my career uh the server is probably going to be empty most likely going to be empty um you may be able to play with other people who are using older dot the older uh, executable or .exe file, you may be able to, I don't know. I use Parsec to connect with others and play with others. I don't use 2K servers um, just because I wanna play how I wanna play. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that tidbit of help about dot, um, not about the file extensions and how you can make them show up. You can make them disappear or make them show up, okay? So hopefully you guys were able to understand that video. I'm gonna keep this video short. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this video short and we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully this helps you all. There are no links for this video. Thank you.